Heard about the latest trend in the car world? It's about the 2024 Lincoln Co. 080 MP. It's a game changer, mixing electrification and top notch tech into something special. It's owned by Geely and struts the same innovative compact modular architecture that Volvo is known for. The 080 MP is already considered a cooler, tech buff cousin of the Volvo XC60, but I believe it has its own thing going on. That sleek, futuristic vibe, packed with features that make you think, yep, this is what driving in the future feels like. It all started in 2016, when Lincoln Co. burst onto the scene as this cool, youth-focused brand all about shaking up how we think about cars. Driving awesome cars, both affordable and fun, was their first day motto. Think of it as the Netflix of cars. You subscribe and cruise in style. The first ride was the Lincoln Co. 01, a compact crossover built on Volvo's CMA platform. It's the same tech that's under the hood of the 02, 03, and 05 models. Then they rolled out the 06, which switched things up with Geely's BMA platform. Then, the flagship 09 rides high on Volvo's older SPA platform. But the show star was the midsize crossover 08, unveiled in March 2023. It's the latest and so far greatest from the CMA platform. EMP in 08 EMP stands for Electrified Modular Platform. This clearly indicates that Geely is looking to lead the e-revolution. It's like asking, can we outdo the Volvo XC60? That's a high jump, considering the XC60 is a heavy hitter in the compact luxury SUV world. They plan to launch the 08 EMP in select markets outside China starting in 2024. The 08 swaps the low-slung, two-door look of the 2022's The Next Day concept for a more traditional crossover body. But it's still got that electrified edge, thanks to those signature LED headlights and the almost grillless front. So, it's sleek lines, eye-catching lighting, and a look that's like if a coupe and an SUV had a really stylish baby. The kind of design that turns heads and makes a statement. Now, compare that to the Volvo XC60, it's that classic Scandinavian design. Clean lines, balanced proportions, and a vibe of understated luxury. It's for folks who love elegance and timelessness. A big question, can the 08 EMP's bold style win over hearts the way the XC60's minimalist charm does? But let's get into the specifics. It's in the same ballpark as the Chang'an Uni K. 4820 by 1915 by 1685 mm with a wheelbase of 2848 mm. And the front optics are something else. These H-shaped stripes stretch almost to the windshield, with a central section of 32 LEDs that lights up when you approach with the key. The windows are frameless, the door handles pop up, and even the rearview mirrors are set on these unique stands with cameras. Plus, the rear optics have this funky dotted pattern. Around the back, there's this fabulous LED strip that wraps around the sides of the body. You've got standard wheels in either 19 or 21 inch and electronic locks. You can pop them open with your keys or even your smartphone. Inside, it's all about comfort. Two rows of seats, a trunk that's 545 liters or 1,277 liters with the seats down, and a panoramic roof for those who love a view. But it's not just about looking good. Adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and other driver aids are standard. Under the hood is a hybrid powertrain from Geely, combining a 1.5 liter gas engine, an electric motor, and a three speed DHT Pro gearbox. Volvo's been dabbling in electrification with hybrids in the XC60, but the 08 TMP is born and bred to be electric. Instant torque and that smooth, quiet operation that electric motors are known for. The base setup includes a 1.5-liter turbo engine dishing out 163 horsepower and an electric motor kicking in another 218 horsepower. Both engines are hooked up to 3-speed DHT hybrid auto transmission. All in all, you're getting a hefty 381 horsepower and 615 newton meters of torque, and you've got options for front wheel or all wheel drive. Depending on whether you go for front wheel drive or all wheel drive and the size of your battery, you're looking at different capabilities. The front wheel version comes with either a 21.2 or 39.8 kilowatt hour battery. You can cruise for 102 or 205 kilometers on pure electric power in the WLTP cycle, and in hybrid mode with a full tank, you're talking about 1,200 to 1,400 kilometers of range. The all-wheel drive version adds a rear electric motor to the mix, pumping up the power to 593 horsepower and 905 newton meters of torque. The battery is the same size, but you can go further and faster. Now, about the suspension, the 08 EMPs have a spring setup, with McPherson at the front and Multilink at the rear. It's sitting pretty with a ground clearance of 186 mm, and for fuel efficiency, the all-wheel drive model averages 5.5 liters per 100 kilometers. 
The express charging feature can boost your battery from 30 to 80 percent in just 28 minutes. The interior is like a smartphone on wheels. It's got connectivity features, subscription-based services, and a big focus on shared mobility. This is a pretty stark contrast to the Volvo XC60. The XC60, while packed with tech, sticks to the classic luxury playbook, premium materials, buttons you can feel and press, and that cozy sanctuary vibe. So, the 08 TMP's interior will either set a new standard, or it might have to work harder to win over folks who love that traditional, tactile feel. Inside the 08, it's all sleek and minimalistic. The centerpiece is a massive 15.4-inch touchscreen for the media system. Because of this, they've cut down on the physical buttons and switches. It's all about the touch. Then there's this cool 12.3-inch digital instrument panel right in front of the driver, and the head-up display is like having info floating 10 meters ahead of the car. As for the other goodies, in the top-tier setup, you're getting Nappa Leather, a 50-watt wireless charging pad for your phone, and a Harman Kardon audio system that's got a whopping 23 speakers. There's a facial recognition camera built into the left A-pillar. Plus, both the front and rear seats come with a massage function. So, whether you're driving or just along for the ride, the OAT MPs have you covered for comfort and tech. Thanks to several super smart processors, the 08 is packing some serious tech under the hood. The 7 nanometer ones developed by a Chinese company are a pretty big deal in the car world. Lincoln Co. also claims this is the first time a 7 nanometer Chinese design processor has been used in the industry. They're keeping the chip manufacturer's name under wraps, but just because it's designed in China doesn't mean it's made there. It's like the Kirin 9000S processor in the Huawei Mate 60 Pro smartphone, which made waves recently and dodged US sanctions. The auto sector hasn't hit that level of sanction drama, so Geely might be getting these chips made by the same folks who do it for Taiwan's TSMC. These SE1000 processors can do a whopping 16 trillion operations per second. That's double the performance of the flagship Qualcomm Snapdragon SA8155P processor. And why two processors? Reliability is key. You want that extra layer of safety because, let's face it, cars are no joke when it comes to danger. The 08 crossover is the first to run on the Flyme Auto operating system. It was cooked up by Chinese smartphone maker Meizu, owned by Geely and Ecarx, a startup backed by Geely's chairman Eric Lee. And yep, Ecarx is the brain behind those processors based on ARM architecture. Flyme Auto makes the switch from your smartphone to your car's infotainment system seamless. Safety is where you really see the family resemblance with Volvo. It's decked out with some pretty advanced safety features, and you can bet it's borrowing a page or two from Volvo's playbook on semi-autonomous driving tech. This safety connection is super important. When folks are car shopping, safety is a deal-breaker. So, if the 08 wants to play in the big leagues, it's got to meet, or even better surpass, the safety standards set by its Volvo cousins. Some things might not be ticking all the boxes for everyone. First, the exterior design has had mixed reviews. Some dig its unique proportions, while others think it's a bit bulky. It's speedy, sure, but for those looking for a fully electric option, this hybrid setup might not hit the mark. The battery offers a decent range of about 250 kilometers, but compared to other EVs on the market, that might fall short for long-distance drivers. The brand's unique subscription-based model may also be a double-edged sword. It offers flexibility and a new approach to car ownership, which will appeal to a younger, more urban demographic. However, this model may seem too unconventional or uncertain for those who prefer the traditional car buying process. Lincoln Co. plays a different ball game with their membership-based services. You've got a brand perception, the value they're offering, and the kind of service ecosystem they've built. The sharing economy offers a way to experience cars that's about more than just owning them. And it's already making waves in Europe. Take the 01 Fev SUV. It's doing its thing in the Netherlands and Germany. And back in China, they've got a whole lineup. The 01, 02, 03, 05, 06, and 09, all rocking Fev and mild hybrid options. In China, Lincoln Co. covers the whole rebel millennial vibe. Skateboards, cool trees, swings, the entire lifestyle. This approach is smart because it's for folks who are into flexibility, who dig technology, and who aren't necessarily looking for the traditional car ownership experience. If you value being able to switch up your ride, want all the latest tech at your fingertips, and see a car as more than just a way to get around, then Lincoln Co. is speaking your language. But what are your thoughts on the car? Share your thoughts in the comments section, and before you hit the road, smash that like button and subscribe for more.